What's up Yakuza? It's your favorite drama queen and today I'm back with a video about my business trip in Japan and this is the last day. All along the video I'll have to give you an explanation about this picture right here. <laughs> yeah I know I kind of failed to behave very professionally but hey there's an explanation. You also see how mother nature was playing with me. Oh my god I cannot hold my piece. And how I was about to die during a terrible flight with high turbulences. There will also be a short clip about the fight between Kyoto people and Osaka people. <laughs> they have, they got a devil in their hearts. You can, you can tell like what they, what they're thinking, because they always hide their emotions about a week. But they, there is a beauty a, of not turning the truth, not turning the honest way. Yeah. Osaka, Osaka is the best. best. Kyoto is, the best. Kyoto is the best. Then you also see some details about how to exchange business cards properly in Japan. <laughs> Enjoy! So basically the day started with everyone packing his stuff because we were supposed to leave the accommodation at around 10 a.m. even if it was really really raining. And here I am trying to rearrange my futon exactly the way it was when we arrived. So at this point I already got a shower, I had my makeup on, my hair done and I just had to join breakfast with everyone else in the living room. The moment I got in the living room, everyone was sort of screaming. It took me a second to realize that it was about my hair, actually. <laughs> I, yeah, I sort of got used to this reaction in Japan. And no, 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 there's nothing sophisticated I did about my hair. I'll show you later, you see how I look like. So we had breakfast together, talking about how the day is gonna go and also deciding how we're going to adjust the schedule because we were supposed to visit a remote island, but because the weather was so bad, like it was rainy the whole day and not the kind of rain you really want to face because the island is really small and in the middle of, what's that, the ocean? Uh, I'm not sure if it's... I'll check the map again. <laughs> so yeah, while we were deciding and trying to schedule all that, of course, with the agreement of the manager, we realized that we did not have enough time to finish the dishes, so we started doing it together. Will you be able to finish this in 10 minutes? Yes, so. Okay, challenge. Now, like, five minutes. Oh. Don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, the ceiling was so low and look at my hair, look at what made everyone scream. <laughs> I swear to God. Here's my colleague being extra careful about wasure mono naini. <laughs> oh, so cautious, that's nice. Because usually like in between you food on so I did a last quick visit, quick tour of the house and kind of saying goodbye to the wall and to all the spirits I imagined were there <laughs> before leaving. I noticed so many coins in front of the door and I was like, what is this? Taiga saw me observing and he was like, oh, it's actually a collection and I also do that. I collect kind of coins from different countries and also ancient coins from Japan that uh, are not usable anymore. I don't know for which reason. Maybe someday you can sell. Someday. Oh. Oh, another house. Bye, bye, the house. 
So yeah, the rain was definitely not stopping and we were en route to Kagawa. Kagawa is actually a city that is very well known in Japan for the quality of udon and I heard from my colleague that there even is an institute of udon where you can get a training on how to make udon basically for a day and then at the end they will give you an udon certificate that was hilarious I mean respectfully because there are people who are trained for that the chefs and all but yeah I just it, I don't know it sounded kind of hilarious for me to have a certificate for udon <music> Look at all these signatures from different people who visited the restaurant. I cannot recognize any of them, but they all look Japanese to me. In all Japan, this place is the best one. Yeah, yeah. 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 There is a school called Udon Gakko. Udon Gakko? Yeah, and then, oh, yeah. Yeah, if you go there, they will teach you how to make udon from the powder. You from here? No. <laughs> I'm from Kyoto. Mm. Nice people. Thank you. <laughs> well, yeah, I asked the wrong question, and here I was involuntarily starting a fight between Kyoto and Osaka people. There we go. Uh, yes, Kyoto is the best. Osaka, Osaka is, is the best. Kyoto is the best. Kyoto is the best. Kyoto is the best. They don't know anything about it. <laughs> I didn't when, know. When people hear the Kansai, mm -hmm. what, what do you have in, in your mind? Kyoto. Osaka, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. But it doesn't translate okay. that Kobe, no, Kyoto, Osaka is the best. It's just like Osaka is big and crowded mm -hmm. and then dirty and then just... Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Osaka is the central. Osaka is the central. That's the Kansai people fight each other. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can tell like what, they, what they're thinking. <laughs> Because they always hide their emotions about a week. But they, there is a beauty a, of not turning the shirt, not turning the honest way. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not a beauty. It's feelings. not a beauty. It's a beauty. Devil. It's aesthetic. <laughs> they have, they got a devil in their hearts. So I always trust myself. So I tell, I tell what I feel. But they don't say what, what they feel. But they always hide you? everything and like bunch. But what if, if your work hurt other people by saying the honest things? You can also like not to say the bad things, you know? And this was officially the end of the fight. <laughs> Let me know you guys who do you prefer, people from Kyoto or Osaka? I haven't really met any difference. I've been in the two places, but I think not long enough to notice the slight differences of culture or behavior between the two people. So, hey, Kyoto people, love y'all. Osaka people, love y'all. Stop fighting. <laughs> After the delicious udon, we decided to go to one of the mountain tops to observe the city because anyway, we didn't have the choice. As it was raining cats and dogs and still we had no way to reach the islands to meet that client. Why do people hike again? I have no understanding of that activity. Like, why you guys just decided that going on top of something very, very high is like an achievement of something? I don't know, it's just some stone. I'm not the type of people who feel a certain achievement when I reach the top of a mountain. And maybe that's the reason why I've never climbed Fuji and living so close to Kilimanjaro, I also never climbed it. I probably don't feel as excited as other people that I see climbing or bragging that they've been on top of this mountain. Tell me guys in the comment section, how do you feel about hiking? To me, it's just like, meh, I don't, I don't know. We found the Holy Grail. You found the Holy Grail? Yes. <laughs> Oh. 
So here we are at the top of the mountain. I swear to God, I actually forgot the name of the mountain. I see the kanji of it, but I'm like, I can't read it. Sorry. <laughs> So everyone was chill at this point because we know we wouldn't meet the client uh, very soon because of the rain and we started having some recreative activity around. So I saw all the team enjoying the park and I was like, wait a god a minute, this is nice. Then Tiger, <clears throat> Tiger challenged me to do this. And I don't like hearing challenge. I'm not sure if I have a very competitive mindset. I usually think I don't, but I feel like, okay, you're challenging me. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna do this. And that was a big mistake. Lady first. Oh, oh. I mean, yeah, I'm a gentleman, oh, so you gonna do me first. like that, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, do yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you gonna do it? Whoa. Oh, really? Oh. You're gonna get hurt, you know that? Yeah, I was in some deep shit, literally. <laughs> Look at everybody checking the footage. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, this is all your fault, Tiger. It's all your fault because you challenged my mind and I felt like I need to do it. The thing is, I should normally like being beating myself and saying, oh my god, I didn't act professionally and like I was there worrying everyone if I broke something, but I was like, man, it's it's very funny. Tiger, no, 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 no. That was the easy one. I mean, the rest of the time hiking, I had my pants like full of shit behind there. I didn't really care. I was like, eh, it's gonna dry. And yeah, it happens. <laughs> Never again. It's clear to see from up here. So the view was kind of blurry because of the cloud, but I still enjoyed how beautiful this was. And suddenly I got into some meditation mood, I don't know, something about this just calmed me down. Yeah, I guess that's what people feel when they reach the top of a mountain or something, whatever. <laughs> Then looking at all of us, I was like, oh, wait a minute, I have a nice idea about the angle we can take a picture of all of us and maybe use it for the company website. So it went like... were climbing down this environment really reminded me of that Ed Sheeran song that goes keep careful watch of my brother's soul whatever hey yeah well of course we needed slow motion for this though oh my god I cannot hold my feet Then off the road, we went to visit another client. It wasn't really a formal visit because we were supposed to go to that island. I keep repeating myself, I'm sorry. <laughs> so 
So this one is one of the acquaintances of uh, one of our managers and yeah we call them and say hey can we pay a visit to your company and I was really admirative of everything they've done. It's basically a company owned by two brothers and they make denim in Japan with uh, with recyclable materials. Mm -hmm. yeah, it looks great. Look at what they've made guys, it's a perfect destination for vacation for me. I think I would even book it sometimes. It's called Itonami and everything, almost everything in the hotel is made with denim. So basically we talked to them, we visited the factory for a little while and then we headed to the airport. We dropped off other members because they had their family around Kyoto and Osaka and prefer to stay there for Golden Week. Yes. Then heading to the airport, we went to some omiyage shop. And headed to a ramen restaurant while waiting for a flight. I noticed the one piece uh, decoration in the restaurant, so if you guys are a fan of one piece, you would definitely like this. <laughs> Then we went to security check-in and this time I was hoping that I wouldn't do it barefoot but always, always something wrong with these boots. Then this horrible flight started, I'm telling you, it was pretty, pretty hard, like one of the worst flights I've ever had in my life because I think the plane is very small so you can feel all the shaky, shaky movement. <laughs> The rain was too strong, there was like some trou d'air at some point, I don't know, some, uh, I don't know how to say that in, in English, trou d'air, like an empty area of air, I'm not sure. So if you really feel the plane falling uh, at some point, like having a drop, and I had sweaty palms as usual, I really panicked at this time, and of course my colleague was sleeping, snoring as usual, I really have to understand how people do it. This flight traumatized me so much that even when we landed, like after we took the train, the movement of the train really made me feel like I was back in the plane and I was still panicking. Yeah, I panicked so much that my period came early, okay? <laughs> So 
So yeah guys, this is pretty much it for the video and it's the end of the series business trip in Japan. I really hope you enjoyed it and maybe you learned one thing or two about working in Japan and business experience, business manners and stuff like that. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!